We begin with breaking news. An all-nighter at the state capitol as the House of Representatives debates hiking the state's minimum wage to $15 an hour. That's right. That debate once again breaking down party lines for the most part. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live from the state capitol with the very latest this midday. Good afternoon, Mark. Hi, Keith and Alyssa. Good afternoon, everyone, from the lobby of the House of Representatives here at the state capitol in Hartford. And that debate is coming up at any minute. Uh, the debate began at 10 p.m. last night. They've gone on for 14 continuous hours talking about this. Now, the bill has changed slightly since yesterday. Now, you may hear me interrupted by a bell. That means the roll call is going off. The new schedule would have the current $10.10 minimum wage go up to $11 on October 1st of this year, then up to $12 on September 1st of next year, $13 on August 1st of 2021. $14 on July 1st of 2022, and then finally up to $15 on June 1st of 2023. They have spread it out a little bit more. After that, it could be adjusted upward by the state labor department according to what's something that's called the employment cost index. In other words, it would automatically go up. Restaurants would continue to be able to pay wait staff and bartenders a discounted rate because those employees get tips. The current rate is $6.38 for wait staff and $8.25 for bartenders. That would not change under this bill. And we believe that the Democrats have the vote. It's almost a sure thing that this will pass. Uh, we'll just have to wait a few more minutes to get the tally. Uh, again, um, this has been uh, discussed for 14 hours. Governor Lamont and the Democrats, most of the Democrats, campaigned on a $15 minimum wage. This would be considered by them to be delivering on a campaign promise. However, the Republicans, I can sum up this 14-hour debate. The Republican point of view is simply this, that it is a job and small business killer, uh, that this simply would put economic squeeze on small businesses. Obviously, the restaurant industry prevailed by getting that uh, wait staff and bartender rate frozen for the next four or five years, although I spoke to someone at the governor's office who said they're not very happy with that. They would like that to be indexed at some point, but that's not included in this bill. The schedule is as I just described. It. Again, we expect the vote to be coming any minute, certainly during this half hour. We'll come back and bring it to you, but we have good confidence that the Democrats definitely have the votes to get this one past the finish line. Live at the state capitol, Mark Davis, News 8.